everybody, Gary Fernand here for Photo Receptor Cell. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to create a shadow in Photoshop. So here we have uh, Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. Um, and you see here I've got a photograph of a toy car. Now, there are some shadows here. You can see here the light is coming in from the right hand side as you look at it. So the light is here coming down. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag or accentuate that shadow on the left hand side of the vehicle. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to create this vehicle as its set own separate layer. So let's go ahead and take the quick selection tool. Let's just come in a bit closer. There we go. Okay, so quick section tool. Um, now, this vehicle is very, very tiny in the grand scheme of this photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the biggest area, which is the back, the background. And then once we've done that, we can then invert the selection, which will hopefully give us a nice, neat selection of the vehicle itself. So let's, uh, let's just take a few things away. We'll do this nice and quickly. Now obviously when you do your selections, it'll take a lot more time and care over it to, to make sure the selection is uh, spot on. Let's get a little bit of shadow as well. Just take the front of the vehicle. We'll, we'll keep that part of the shadow there, that's fine there. So, a little bit there, just caught in the highlight. So that looks like a relatively neat selection. As I say, when you do your selections, you, you will take uh, or come, come in closer to make sure the, uh, the selection is, uh, is on point. So let's go to Select Inverse. Shift Command I is your keyboard shortcut, and then. We're going to select that Command J, which puts it on its own separate layer. There, but that's fine. We'll leave it back on there. So you can see the the selection of the the shadow that's already cast is quite rough. And that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm not worried about that uh, too much. Uh, so hit the letter D on the keyboard just to make sure that your foreground color is black. Uh, and then I want to hold down the Option, Shift, and Delete button. And that just turns that, uh, that layer into uh, a massive black. Command T, let's come up with your free transform. And this is where we're gonna start getting a little bit uh, creative. Uh, hold down your Command button on the keyboard and just drag this top center Point down the lobby. And see so what we're going to do here. We're just going to make sure that it looks how we want it to. So don't be afraid to take your opacity down to that shadow. You can actually see what you're doing. Now, ideally, I want this point of the wheel here. So let's move that there. So hold down the command key. Let's just stretch that there. line up with that shadow there, lovely, and then the same with this one here, just get a corner there onto that wheel, there, lovely, hit return to accept that, uh, that transformation. Now, shadows in Photoshop can look photoshopped, so in order to try and make this look realistic as possible, we're going to add a blur, a Gaussian blur to that layer. Um, and now that, that's come up as 27.5, um, which if you match the original shadow from that's cast from the vehicle to the photoshopped, they look very, very good, very, very similar. So we'll just hit OK, I'm happy with that. So hit, hit accept on, on that so you can see 
hopefully you, can, you can't see that there's a uh, an additional shadow put in there. Um, but what we do want to do is we, if we take that up to 100% again, obviously it's going to cover half the vehicle. So drop that down to about 50% there. Come across, take your rubber, and then just rub away areas in a vehicle that wouldn't necessarily have a full shadow on them. So let's just do this real quickly. Now you can see the, the light coming back into the tire there, which is what we're after. Being too careful with the edges there. Um, I say I'm, I'm doing this quickly for the purposes of this tutorial, but uh, I say in your photos you might not necessarily be going this this quick um, and this rough around the uh, the edges here. So uh, what we don't want to do is come out and sort of bleed the the, the, the sort of highlights underneath underneath here because uh, that. Would, will be a, a telltale that we've done some, some work on it in, in Photoshop and that's the last thing we want. We want it to look as, um, as natural as, uh, as, as, as possible. Oh, there's a bit more black up there. Let's just pull that down. Rather than keep coming out and using the, the, the zoom tool, hit the space bar, little hand comes up and you can move, move the image around. Okay, so Let's fit that on the screen. Let's take the opacity of a vehicle light back up again. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, could probably do with a bit more, a bit more on the way just in that wheel arch here. Get a bit more definition in the uh, in the wheel. Highlight back in that wheel there as well. There we go. Now. If we drop that to fifty percent, I actually quite like it. Fifty percent. Um, mess around with this, obviously. A bit low opacity, barely barely notice it. Lots of uh, opacity. Obviously, it looks looks photoshopped. I was quite happy with that at fifty uh, at fifty percent. So. Uh, Let's keep that uh, at 50% there. And there we go. And that is how you add a shadow in Photoshop.